guys, another Samsung Galaxy Watch Ultra video. Some people said that when I did my last GPS test, my watch was connected to the phone, hence the GPS of the phone might have been used. So in this test, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to disconnect the watch, turn off the Bluetooth, turn off the Wi-Fi, mobile is off, and I'm gonna walk a specific direction. I know where I start, okay? And we're gonna be verifying if the location tracking is good because I am standing right now here at this exact place on the beach. And now it's time for me to turn off the Bluetooth. Now the Bluetooth has been set to off. I'm not using Wi-Fi. And my Google location accuracy is set to improve Google location accuracy. And now it's time to start the workout. It's gonna be hiking to check the elevation. Pressing the action button and now I'm gonna select hiking. Hiking selected and now we start the activity. Let's see how quick will the GPS lock. Elevation, wow, that was a quick lock. 12 meters, guys. I do believe this is realistic because we can see I am at the sea level and I do believe 12 meters is accurate. Now let me show you what is gonna happen. I'm going to slowly walk on this beach until I reach the next location. The next location is gonna be that oasis thing. All right, it's oasis. Then I'm gonna go inside the water with the watch and the phone and show you how readable this place is also underwater. Okay, so let me do this short walk, okay, under the very hot sun here and these pebbles. And meantime, we're gonna follow also what happens with my HR 118. Okay, elevation is still 12. And now I'm very close to the seaside and I would expect the elevation to drop a bit. 11 meters. Okay, 11 meters. I'm now literally in the sea, guys. Elevation at 10 meters. All right, 10 meters. Is this the margin of error or is this the real elevation? 11 meters. Let's keep walking. We have to go to that sign over there. And as you can see, we are very close. We're almost there. By the way, elevation still at 12 meters. That's a bit weird, guys. Because again, I'm really at the sea level. So I would expect to get something like two, three, four, 12 is just too much a bit. Still 12 meters. All right, hiking is tracked. It's very important to also check the, try to check the HR. Very important to check also the GPS route. If I am exactly at this beach, well, let's say it's gonna put me there in the forest. It's very important to understand if the watch is doing a good job on tracking. Now, remember, I disconnected the watch from my Bluetooth and also from Wi-Fi, so right now it's 100% using the internal GPS. One good thing we saw, the fix was rather good. The fix was rather good, maybe two, three seconds. 11 meters still. Right now, it's time to go down a bit. Still at 11 meters. Let's just see what's gonna happen. Still now at 10 meters, guys, and as you can see, I am already in the water. 10 meters still. And just now, the watch registered one meter elevation. But as you can see, I'm already almost inside my whole body. So now it's time to check how the watch is gonna do under the water. So let's try to dive in a bit. What is this? Minus 31. <laughs> minus 9. Okay. All right. Minus 8. No, this is something weird going on, guys. It's definitely not minus 7 or minus 8. All right, now it's time to open the Samsung Held. All right, we're gonna check the hiking, select the map, and see if the map is real or not. Yeah, it's not working in the water. One more time. Okay. Let's try to zoom in a bit. So. All right, this is very, very exact. I was standing there to this volleyball set. All right, then I walked maybe a bit like this. So I walked to the Oasis. All right, it's an old map from Google, but I do believe this is the real thing. And then on my way back, I entered inside the sea, guys. 
So honestly, I think just tracking with the watch disconnect from the phone might be a better idea. This really seems like the real thing. All right, and if you like something like this, don't forget to like the video. Thanks for watching. PSD over and bye.